Kristen and welcome back to my channel you guys oh my god yes I look completely different right look at my face <laughs> it's a little bit red and you guys if you missed the live stream that I did last weekend you kind of missed a lot I was trying to enchant a sword that was not working and I ended up killing a vampire he bit me and now we are a freaking vampire so you guys this is actually gonna be making the series a lot freaking harder because we cannot do anything in the daytime it all has to be done in the evening and anytime that we do come into contact with the vampire hunters they are like out for my blood <laughs> I don't even know if they have I don't even know if I have blood but I do know that they want it so it's gonna be quite um, it's gonna be quite a challenge and I do want to start working on leveling up becoming a vampire because you guys you can also become invisible and we're also gonna need to make a vampire lair just so that I can start um, I'm gonna have to like make this whole I don't even know what it is this whole little section where I have to collect blood add blood to the vial and that's gonna help us level up so in the next part I think that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna start crafting up or building our home so let's get out of here let's get our menu back so as you can see I do have one blood bottle and one vampire blood I do have a couple extra bottles <laughs> so you're gonna see how we have to do this and I'm gonna show you if I go out in the daytime um, I start to die I do start to take damage so we're probably gonna have to go over to the spice district and either turn it into evening or I'm gonna have to get a coffin because that is the only way um, it's kind of reversed you know how you go in your bed to sleep away the night so it makes it daytime well the only way that you can get rid of the day is to sleep in a coffin <laughs> so I do have one of those over in Forgotten Hollow so I think that's where we're gonna go first and then as you can see I no longer have like I no longer have to actually eat food so from now on we have to suck blood from either animals or where are we going forgotten hollow yeah so we either have to suck vampire blood or not vampire blood just blood from animals or villagers and okay let's go upstairs and we are gonna sleep in the coffin <laughs> it's really freaking strange it is so freaking weird you guys but um yeah so it's now evening the good thing is I do have night vision so this is gonna be the only time like the thing that I need is not here so we're gonna have to craft that up and this is where I did buy the bottles and I also can eat human hearts I do have a couple of those and um, yeah so I do want to explore I mean since I am a vampire I wasn't planning honestly on becoming a vampire quite yet <laughs> but since I am I think we are going to definitely explore it a little bit before we do cure it and become human again so we need to get out of here oh my god no I want to go down here so one thing that you do have to be careful of is when you do try to get blood from animals you can also end up turning them into like a vampire so okay let me Oh my gosh so we're gonna start filling up this bottle you can see and if you bite them too much you can actually kill them <laughs> and I don't really want to do that okay and do we have this bottle yes oh see I accidentally killed the pig <gasps> I hope I'm not like killing Oh no, it's a vampire. I think we're just gonna leave it. Oh no. Oh no, this is. Oh no. <laughs> the other members are gonna be freaking traumatized by this, but I did end up getting almost three bottles of blood. So I think we only need like five of them to level up. And, um, Romance Festival. See, we need to get out of here. We need to get out of town. So one thing that we are going to have to do is actually, oh my god, does Storm have a new skin? It looks like a little cow. Oh, that is cute. And the vampire hunters were attacking me and this is all my fault. Everybody is missing heads because I'm kind of in the progress of, um, I'm like trying to fix everything. <laughs> so I think we're going to go over to Magnolia Promenade. I'm going to see if there's any animals here. And I'm also going to show you guys the new shopping district. So. 
This is over where the trading post, the clothes, the grocery store, everything like that. We just really didn't have too much space, so this has been all updated. I think I'm going to end up coming back over and buying some of these. So this is where you are now going to be able to get all of the uncraftable inventory pets. You guys know we need that for like our collection, just like in The Sims. <laughs> And this is now my store, so I have a lot more space and I can actually bring over my inventory pets. So I do have my armor here. I'm probably going to have to go dragon hunting again to get some more and I do have the spider pet. So I'm going to bring over some of the other ones and I do think we are going to maybe give some gifts because, I don't know, I have so freaking many. Okay, so I want to see if we have any more animals. Oh, somebody did start their store. Oh, I need to go see. <laughs> I need to like make another street down here. Okay, whose store is on the end? Sweet Ash Gamer. Oh my god, she has so many inventory pets. I think I have those. I love that she has them on these like little glass rainbows. I have those. Ooh, she has a saddle. Okay, so unfortunately I do have all of those inventory pets, but I seriously love how she matched that with like the glass. But okay, we are on a blood mission. So we're gonna continue on finding some blood. So I am gonna fill up these five glass jars and you guys need to let me know if you would prefer to just have like a vampire lair, like a home tour, or if you guys want to build it with me on a video. Oh, here's some more animals over there. Here we go. So I don't really know all... Ooh. You look tasty. Okay, let's fill this up. And he's a vampire. Oh my god, everybody's gonna kill me on here. I don't think that anybody is quite a vampire hunter yet on the series. So it's gonna be interesting. I do know that I bit Shan. <laughs> I bit her on purpose. It was like a mission. I'm like, if I'm gonna be a freaking vampire, Shan, you are gonna be a vampire. She was playing on the server with me while I was streaming. And yeah, it was a little bit naughty of me, but yeah. <laughs> if I'm gonna be a freaking a vampire, I am not gonna go at it alone. So I haven't seen anybody yet, like over on Discord or on the channel, speak about becoming a hunter yet. Okay, I need to be very careful of that. I don't really want to go mining yet, so I think I'm gonna actually go back over here. I think we're gonna go back home. I'm gonna drop off all of the blood, and actually, I don't know if I can make the, the vampire. I don't even know what it's called. I will know it if I see it. Um, Yeah, oh my gosh. Is it a blood? No. Oh, we can do a blood container. Iron. Okay, I think I'm going to go home. I think we're going to make this because we could actually store the blood in there. So we're just going to need iron, wood, and glass. So I think we do have all of that. So let's go back home. We are going to get this started. So I've actually never played with this mod before, you guys. So it's going to be really interesting to see everything that does happen once you become a vampire and I do really want to level up because I do know that you can become invisible and you can also turn into a bat and fly so yeah we're gonna have to um, start leveling up so we can start mastering a vampire oh my god we gotta go the freaking vampire hunters I don't know why they just like hang out there <laughs> but honestly it terrifies me okay so what do we have in here um, nothing that we need. Okay, so let's go back in the house. I think I'm just gonna put like the blood on the kitchen counter. <laughs> uh, should we get rid of the flowers or where are we gonna put the blood? Ooh, I could just like put it right here. Okay, so let's go downstairs. I don't think we have any iron right here, but we do have some wood. So we're gonna need the wood and I don't think I have any glass here. Oh, do I even have any sand? I might have to grab some sand. Where, where would that be? Uh, maybe it's in here. Sand. Oh, we have, we definitely have enough. Okay, so let's just make up some glass. I am pretty sure that I don't have any of that made yet, so. Let's get rid of this. Okay, 
So in order to make the blood container, now this I know is not what we need to put it in to max up, but this is gonna help us be able to store blood, I think. So if we do get thirsty, we're gonna be able to, um, we're gonna be able to drink from it. Okay, so glass, wood in the corners, and an iron in the middle. Okay, so I need to grab some iron right in here. Okay, so we have all of that. Let me grab three. Okay, so I just need one more. And yeah, so I did end up maxing out the bestiary. I think I did that on stream, I think. <laughs> okay, so let's get this crafted up. So we have one iron ingot in the middle. We have wood in the corners. And then we have glass right here. Yay! <laughs> okay, so let's go back upstairs. Where are we going to place this? I guess I could put it there. Let's just, yeah, let's plop it there. Oh my god, this is actually literally disgusting. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I need to figure out what happens when we get this full. Um, yeah, I don't know what happens once we... Oh my god, those are so cute. So I'm just going to move those out of the way. They kind of changed. That's not what they look like before. That is really strange. Okay, so we are going to need to go get some more blood. That is disgusting. <laughs> so I do want to have that filled up. So let's go on a mission to find more animals. I was thinking about maybe biting Bob or Eliza. I feel like Eliza is the evil one. I don't think we can... I don't think we can kill... I don't think we can actually, like, bite turtles, so... Yeah, I was thinking about biting Eliza <laughs> and uh, turning her maybe into like a vampire llama. Oh my god. Oh, dang it. We're going to have to go back over to Forgotten Hollow. So yeah, I'm definitely going to need to make a vampire lair. And I am thinking about having it floating up in the sky, like behind our home a little bit. So we're going to need to go back over. I just hate going over to like right here <laughs> because the vampire hunters, they like know that I spawn out and they are here to kill. Okay, so let's get in here. We need to go sleep. This is probably the most annoying part about being a vampire is literally not being able to like do anything during the daytime. You do get blinded. <laughs> And you can't really do anything. Okay, so let's go back down here. And yeah, so it does have everything in this haunted mansion that we are going to need to eventually become a human again. Ooh. <laughs> I see you. Okay, so I think we're going to go over back here away from the vampire hunters. I mean, they are everywhere. You really can't get away from them. It's unfortunate. <laughs> So I don't know if we should start like killing maybe some of some of the pets that are around. I should probably, oh, did we get all your blood? Oh, you're a vampire. I should probably kill you. <laughs> oh, that was a drop. Okay, let's get the pelt. I think we're going to need it. Oh, we can't bite any of them. So, yeah, I don't know, you guys. Do we want to start causing a little bit of mischief on the server and possibly maybe start turning, like, the animals that are at homes <laughs> of the other members? Like, ooh, what is that? Like, do we want to start turning them into vampires? I think that could be a little bit mischievous. And I have been considering maybe, you know, causing a little bit of drama, <laughs> stirring up the pot a little bit. And, ooh, do I see animals over here? Okay, so there is another deer that we cannot bite. And you guys, the Comic Con or one of the other events is supposed to be in town for October. So there's probably going to be a bunch of October events, like pumpkin carving, if I can find it. Oh my gosh, wait, here's a little lamb over here. Okay, so I do need some wool. So, I mean, I think we're going to end up killing as well. Did this fill up our bottle? No. Okay, so that one's full. Let's start a new one. I'm here in lava. <laughs> I'm here in lava and I don't have anything that I'm going to need to actually start mining. Okay, let's get out of here. And I think one of the other things when you do start maxing out this skill is you can kind of like ward off 
creepers and stuff. So I think that's actually going to come in handy. Okay, so we only have one of these completed. Wait, are these my old stopping grounds? Oh my god, I think this is actually my backyard <laughs> of where I used to live. Yes, there is my hot air balloon. I kind of want to like build more of those over at my other home. I'm like obsessed with them. Okay, we need more animals. I might go over. I do know that you cannot bite any of the townies because I did try to go to Newcrest. And, oh, you're a vampire. We gotta kill you. I don't really want to leave, like, too many zombie animals <laughs> in the town. I would much prefer to make them... Oh, you need to get out of here. Dang it. Go away. Oh, my God. Okay, there's my little fairy still. She's over there waiting for us. Okay, we can't kill you. I wonder if Matt has any animals. We could probably... Let's see if he has any pets to kill. Ooh, a skeleton. Oh my god, we need to get out of here. <laughs> uh, I don't really want anything to happen to Matt's house, and I'm gonna have to leave because if any of the vampire hunters come over here, they are going to really, like, mess up his house. I hear some sheep or something. How the heck do I get out of here? Here we go. Okay, so I just need a few more... Man, it's really empty. It's kind of annoying that everything that I have to do is, like, in the darkness. <laughs> so, thank goodness for night vision. Oh, I guess we could co go over and just dump our blood. I don't really want to kill off all the zoo animals. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure that some of the other members on the server have actually, like, you know, became owners of them. And I don't think I killed anybody's pet. If I did, oh my god, they're like, they're gonna be on a mission to like hunt me down. So I'm just gonna go back over to my house. If we can get through here without the vampire hunters. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like terrified going around this corner. Like, look, they're always right there. Let's go home. And we're gonna dump off our blood. And I am going to try to get this filled up. And I'm pretty sure that we are gonna be building the vampire layer together. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure we had another. Okay, so I think we have that almost halfway. Oh my god, that is a lot of blood. I wonder how we... I don't know what happens. I'm gonna have to find out what happens when you get this full. I mean, this is a completely new to me mod, like I had said, so there's so much to explore and I'm probably gonna be getting a ton of stuff completely wrong, but I do know that we do have to get that pyramid looking thing and start adding blood to it. That is actually how we are going to be able to level up. But that is everything for today's video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed and if you are excited to see what happens to me as a vampire and if we are able to start maxing out this vampire skill or whatever the heck you would call it. But make sure that you guys do give this video a very big thumbs up if you did enjoy and let me know in the comments if you have any tips and tricks with this mod and how we are able to get better at it quicker. So hopefully I'm going to get to see you all in the next episode. Bye guys.